This is the second video in my series to show you how to use ZARX to recover data from a hard drive that Windows has bodged up and can no longer be seen. So, just to prove the time, it's now 26th of February 2020, 8.11pm. I started using this at, I'm just looking at my notes, 6.20pm. Um, let me just check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, about 6.24 p.m. I started the process, so it's taken that long to get to this point. I mean, I've just been eating some food, so this might have been done just a few minutes ago, but anyway. So now this is what it looks like. It says, Mark Files to Recover. Okay, I've now got NTFS, that's the file structure on the hard drive, and a box, which looks like I'm, I, I need to tick off. Um, it's a year and a half since I used this, so I'm trying to remember what to do. And let's see if there's anything blatantly obvious on this telling me what to do. Um, so, you can, if you want to, select there to say only select files after a certain date, date before and date after. I want everything <laughs> to be recorded. Uh, Jesus. You see, this isn't entirely obvious what I should do next. So, let's see what happens if I tick NTFS. Right, aha, uh -huh. interesting, okay. By ticking that, that's now telling me how much stuff there is to recover. And it says, so I'm trying to write this down at the same time as I'm filming. 2,773.3 gigabytes. Oh my god. In 21,086 files and 2,035 folders. Jesus Christ. Now, as I said, I, I film stuff. The thing, what I'm using right now to make this video, I'm recording in 4K. And uh, if you look at my YouTube account, sometimes I upload 100 videos a week. So that quickly accounts for a humongous number of files and folders. So, But that's what ZARX has found on the on the computer like in the first video you'll hear me say that I thought I had about three gigabyte used of the four terabyte three terabyte of the four terabyte this hard drive used so yeah I'm fairly accurate if, if it's found everything then that's good so now I do not recall having to tick any of this stuff last time um, so you can be specific if you want at this point. You can say I only want to recover files from a certain date. I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm not going to select a minimum file size. I want I want from the smallest files to the biggest files recovered. I want everything recovered. So, but you can be specific if you want to only recover small files. You could if you only want to recover you know large files. You could deletions. What does that mean? Don't care. Current files not deleted. Deleted files. Um, not sure what to do about that. Don't care. Deleted. Don't care. Current files that are not deleted. Mm, I'm going to leave it as it is. Oh God. Um, export file and folder tree. Now what does that happen? Select, deselect works. With the currently selected directory names. Oh god. See this is not this is not entirely obvious what's gonna happen. Um, preview files, I presume you could do that and it would then show you what files and folders are gonna to attempt to be recovered, but for now I'm gonna leave it just like that. All I've done is tick off NTFS. I want everything that's found in that file structure to be recovered, okay? That's going to be, oh, this is going to take ages to do. 2,773 gigabytes. This is going to take many, many, many hours to do, even on my quad core computer. To, to copy that amount of data from one hard drive to another is going to take ages. Um, I'll let you know how long it takes in the information. So, let's click next and see what happens. Now, don't forget, as I said, at the moment, it's got it. In order to do this, it's got to have that amount of space somewhere else, so it hasn't yet asked me to plug in another hard drive. Um, so, destination. 
Right, this will be, so at this point, even though it doesn't explain that to you, what I'm going to do is plug in this uh, brand new 4TB external hard drive. So I'm going to plug in the USB port into the computer. Make sure you've got that plugged in and the power is on. I'm going to touch the drive to feel, yeah, I can feel it starting to spin, so I know it's got power. I've just got to wait for my computer to recognise this now. There we go. Excellent. That's just shown up. Um, and just to show you what's just opened up. So now my iDrive has just opened up. And the only folder on it is one I made a little bit earlier. Yeah, there you go. I even wrote the time, 6pm. Buffalo Bits. That's just because this is a, the company that made this. is called Buffalo. And I always put... I just created a folder to drag, I'll just show you if I open up that folder when you buy a Buffalo hard drive you get these few little bits and pieces on there which I never use, I don't even know what they are most of them but anyway I drag the little bits into a little folder now I've got all that space to use for this recovery attempt so destination presumably I click on that little box there, let's see what happens there you go, and that then opens up browse for folder just need to write this down on a bit of paper as well. Destination. I'll put plug in new hard drive. So destination, I want it to be my iDrive. Um, I'm not going to make a new folder. You could make a folder and call it, you know, recovered files if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but I'm just going to let it use the iDrive to stick everything on there as it wants. Click OK. Let's see what happens. Is it going to say anything there? Ah, hold on. It just went not responding and then it did. There you go. It's now got I. So destination I, the I drive. That's just the letter. Rename existing files. I don't want to rename anything. <laughs> I want them to be kept as they are. So start copying would be how you start the process. It gives you these other options. You can change those figures if you want to. If you want it to stop, if it gets to a bad section and you don't want it to keep carrying on trying and trying and trying, you can change things. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna go for retries. If it, if it has a problem, it's just gonna skip. Okay. Uh, you, there you see, it says avoid repeated retries. Um, okay, here goes nothing. So just to prove again the time, it's now 8.19 p.m. Let's see what happens. I'm going to kick start copying. See, so it says currently selected 2,773 gigabytes, 2,000 directories, 21,000 files. Oh, yeah. Right, so it's starting the process. And down the bottom, it just tells you what speed it's starting to write that to. Okay. Right. I will now leave that going, and uh, it's going to take absolutely ages to do this. Many hours, I would think. Okay. So you get a file progress. Um, oh, file progress. Whatever the hell you call it. Progress bar it's not showing anything yet it'll probably go green at the start when once it's done a certain amount that will go from left to right filling up to show you how much has been done um, as I said I, off the top of my head I think you can probably copy about 100 gigabytes an hour um, using these kind of hard drives so there you go you do the math it's gonna be quite a few hours before this is done Hopefully it'll go a bit quicker than I just said, but it, it could take a very long time. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. This is part two. Um, I might make a part three, but I'll, I'll explain underneath the video on YouTube whether or not there's going to be a part three or anything. Don't forget to watch part one first. This is part two of my Zart X explanation. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.